Access is such a crucial thing. When a woman can't access basic medical facilities or basic healthcare information in time, then it can have serious negative consequences. When we started the AI for Social Good team, the idea was to advance AI research to reach underserved communities that have never had access to its benefits before. We worked with Arman to build on the work that they're doing to ensure that the mothers get the health care that they need. When an expectant or new mother enrolls with us, our free weekly voice call service, Emitra, sends automated voice messages providing critical health information guiding them through pregnancy and infancy. Now, when you have a reach of 26 million women, there are bound to be challenges at that scale. We found that almost 50% of women were not consistently listening to the calls. They're not picking up the calls or not listening completely. With limited staff, it was very difficult to reach out to all these women. We needed a method to preempt which of these women were at high risk of dropping out and prioritize them. Now, programs run in 19 states and the data we have is enormous. I knew that AI could possibly point us in the right direction. So there are two parts to the data that Arman collects as part of its Amitra program. At enrollment from each beneficiary, they collect information about age, income level, number of children, and so on. And there are call records for the beneficiary indicating their listening behavior. In our first trial, we created an AI model with Arman that took a sample of data from their past set of beneficiaries and learned from that data. The model grouped together women who had similar listening behavior and demographic characteristics. Based on this model from past beneficiaries, it could then predict various behaviors for new enrollments which had similar characteristics. So it can predict who among the low listening women are at a high risk of dropping out. It can go even further and predict who would need a service call to re-engage with the program and who may re-engage on their own. Now with AI, we can actually pinpoint which women out of the thousands to pick up so that our health workers can reach out to them and help them access the service better. I don't have a phone first, I don't have a phone first, I don't have a phone We've seen that when women listen to the information, the health outcomes are phenomenal. We're able to reach out to more and more women each week, get them back into the fold and save lives because of AI. It is really gratifying to see AI models moving from the lab into the real world and impacting the way we can deliver care to people. And that is what drives our mission.